sa lahat ng taong inclusive LGBT o PWD Always there for each other Kinaya natin together Forever, forever One inclusion forever Pinag-isa tayo na H&I members May iisang puso at iisang tinig Forever, forever One inclusion forever Forever, forever One inclusion forever Kung kailangan ang gagampanan Mga PWD ay mas masaya Gano man ang indigen at tribo Sa likod nito ay may mahihirap um, Ang buhay na to'y nasa ting lahat May mayayaman ang may bawat pusong bukas Sa init ng mga middle class Maghilom ang lahat ng sakit Ang naisindi nitong buhay Walang iba kundi ikaw Salamat sa biyaya mo Muling magkakaisa ang H&I Forever, forever One inclusion forever Forever, forever One inclusion forever Salamat sa pag-ibig na subok ng panahon Dala nito'y liwanag lalo sa ngayon Ang PWD ay pag-ibig Ang kailangan ng ating buhay Kay ganda ng lahat If we will just unite Ang PWD ay pag-ibig Ang kailangan ng ating buhay Kay ganda ng lahat If we will just unite If we will just unite Sa mundo, sa org na to Ikaw Ang aking pahinga Sa yakap mong kumakalma Lahat ay Nagiging masaya Lagi akong uuwi sa'yo Sa puso mo Kung saan naging H&I Pag-ibig, pag-asa at saya Yan ang lagi mong dala Sa pamilya mo Ang tunay ang H&I Family is H&I Family is H&I Forever, forever One inclusion forever Sa lahat ng dapang darating Ano pa man ang harapin Always there for each other Kinaya natin together Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Pinag-isa tayo ng H&I members Ay iisang puso at iisang tinig Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Pinag-isa tayo ng H&I members Ay iisang puso at iisang tinig Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Ang H&I ay nasa ating buhay Diyos ang pinagmumulan
Pinag-isa tayo ng H&I members May isang puso at iisang tining Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Pinag-isa tayo ng H&I members Ay iisang puso at iisang tinig Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Ang nasindi nitong buhay Walang iba kundi ikaw Salamat sa biyaya mo Muling magkakaisa ang H&I Pinagsa tayo ng H&I members May iisang puso at iisang tinig Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Pinagsa tayo ng H&I members Ay iisang puso at iisang tinig Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Forever, forever, one inclusion forever Hello, H and I members. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that we guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they administer to the same competence and passion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time your work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We apply to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, 
do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and ever blessed Virgin, Amen. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Luis, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of their core team including the founder while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion especially persons with disabilities lgbtqi plus people confused with their gender ethnic groups and poorest of the poor whom you also love help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge conspiracy and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger and unforgiveness comes from satan and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding please allow us to know ourselves a child of god we also pray for those people who are blamed by hands in inclusion filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encountered Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things in your eyes the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint, Ped Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Claire of Monte Falco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us in our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us in our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II. Rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those, the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen.
Good evening and welcome to the first Open Arms episode this month of October. Today is the 6th of October, 2020. And now it's 80 days before Christmas. So, kumusta naman po kayo dyan? Lalo na sa mga students, how is your first day of class? You may comment kung maayos naman ang first day of class nyo. By the way, this is Billicent B. Makuse. I'm the host for Open Arms this Tuesday, October 6, 2020. Our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. Baga ang mga doubts natin, according to William Shakespeare, ay mga traitor at maaari mawala sa atin ng mga mabubuting bagay na maaari nating makuha sa pamagitan ng fear fear of a fear to attempt. Dahil ang ating topic for today ay ang mga paraan upang malampasan ang self-doubt. So, what is self-doubt first and foremost? <clears throat> It can be a troubling and persuasive voice that holds you back. Ito yung makaka-hold back sa atin. It holds us back from seizing our opportunities and makes getting started or finishing things harder than they need to be. This is what I personally go through ng madalas since the time I graduated in college. Kaya ako nahihirapang magsimula or magtapos ng mga bagay-bagay. It's because of self-doubt. It can sometimes be useful as it helps you to soberly see your current limitations or pwede rin malaman kung mayroong kang half-baked or bad idea. This mostly holds us back in life, however, according to Henrik Edberg. How can you get around that? Maaari natin itong malampasan in times of self-doubt para meron tayong way of moving forward. So, we will like Explore 13 tips and habits para makatulong sa atin na mabawasan yung destructive inner voice na kakapagkos ng ating self-doubt. Let's start, shall we? First, say stop. Kailangan bilisan natin ng pagpigil sa self-doubt kapag meron na tong kutob na nagbabubble up na siya. Don't let them spin out of control. Or grow from a whisper to a stream of discouraging sentences. Maari mong sumbatan yung doubtful part of yourself mo sa halip. Gagaya nung, pwede mong sabihin sa mind mo, No, no, no! We are not going down that road again! Sa pamamagitan ng technique nito, by saying stop, You can disrupt the thought pattern and stop that inner self-doubter from taking over. This is what I do not do often, but I find it effective na mawala yung doubt ko sa sarili ko. Like, pinipigilan ko tong manaig sa aking isip and overall system. So, it keeps me from being doubtful to myself, obviously, and nagiging mas productive ako with that. Ito ang second technique or tip. Look to the past and awash yourself in the memories. Be real with yourself and ask yourself. How many times when I doubted myself or feared something would happen did that negative thing come into reality after I still took action? It's likely not very often at all. Hindi siya madalas mangyari, most likely. Kung ilang beses mong nag, kung din, nagduda sa sarili mo and fear na baka may mangyari, na mangyari yung negative thing kahit may ginawa ka namang paraan, alalahanin mo yung mga magagandang memories sa past mo. Self-doubts kasi, ito, ito yung mga monsters in our heads that keep our mind for making changes and keep us within the comfort zone. Minsan, tumingin tayo sa mga magagandang nangyari sa nakaraan. Well, things have gone many times. Kahit nalampasan natin itong self-doubts na to, 
and we've gone through something we've been successful in the past like me i was an act i was an outstanding student despite the self-doubts that already tried to take me over to take over my mind it has to become easier to let go of them or put them on a the dead mahin. you just ignore them and focus on the more likely positive outcome and to take action the third tip is Kausap, pwede kang may kausapin about this. Please don't mind, it's our neighbor's dogs. When you keep your thoughts on the inside, they become distorted, exaggerated, and not very much in line with reality or reasonable expectations. Totoo po ito when it comes to self-doubting thoughts. So you may now let it go and you can talk to your close friend, to your closest sibling or relative or auntie or cousin or even your teacher, your mentor para meron kang maibahaging person that can help you deal with your self-doubts. Just letting them out and saying them out loud can often help to hear how exaggerated these thoughts have become. Maaari ni malilinig nila na may mga thoughts sa isip mo na nagiging sobra na, nagiging exaggerated na. If you talk about those doubts with someone na willing magsuporta sa iyo ng buo ng 100%, you will have a change in perspective. This really works even for me. I swear. This is what I often deal with. Don't get stuck in the comparison trap. Why do we have to compare ourselves to other people na mas maagang nag-peak sa kanilang career or naging first honor even though they did not exert that much effort? If you compare yourself to other people all too often, Nagisakit ko rin to eh. Not necessarily literally, but I always compare myself to my batchmates na maagang nagkatrabaho or sinuerte magkaroon ng office work, who got married early, who had a, who had children before they turned 30. Ganyan. It's because each of us has our own success levels, especially to the highlight reels that they share on social media. This is how self-doubt can quickly creep up. Even for me, do not have self-doubt when I saw my peers start a family early, become successful in career early, mga ganyan. I couldn't help but compare myself to there. Bakit hindi ganun ang progress ko? And now that I'm in almost in my late 20s. So, what can we do? A better way to go about things is to compare yourself to yourself. That's the best way. We, you can see how far you have come to see what you've overcome, like me. May mga na-overcome ako mga obstacles, like almost, almost not being able to pass a certain subject. Nalampasan ko yun. Nalampasan ko yun yung hindi ako halos nakakuha ng requirement for this subject to pass even though I did well in academics. To see how you've kept going, succeeded, and grown as a human being. That's how far I've gone. Kahit na, even for me, I've gotten more than 2,500 YouTube subscribers, though the revenue, it's not yet what I'm, I've been expecting, but... Kaya yan. Some of us do this even up to now. Start keeping a journal. It can be a helpful habit for many reasons. Pagdating sa self-doubt, ito makakatulong sa atin na makakuha ng realistic record of your life. Para makaalala rin sa'yo ng mga positive things, the successes you have already had, at kung paano mo nalapasan ang mga obstacles kung 
maalala mo nga ito, but not in an optimistic approach. This is also where you can ga gain clarity more easily. It is often easier to lessen your fears and doubts and to gain clarity kapag meron kang issue na sinulat sa papel or sa computer document rather than if you try to go through it all in your mind. You can really keep yung mga thoughts and anecdotes na naisip mo, even the most negative ones, yung mga, may mga hints of self-doubt, isat mo lang yan. By making lists of pros and cons, going through your thoughts and emotions and similar events from the past, and by writing down different perspectives on the issue, mas nagiging madali na makahanap ng solution and to see your challenge in a clearer, more level-headed way. Remember that people do not care that much about what you say. Bakit naman tayo mag-alala for others? When you worry about what others may think or say if you do something, then the self-doubt can quickly become stronger at masistuck ka sa inaction and in fear. Matatakot ka na lang. When that happens, we must remind ourselves na the truth is that people don't really care. Wala silang pakay about what you do or what you don't do. Gawin mo man ito or hindi, wag wala silang pake. That's what you have to think about. Dahil all they think about is themselves, their kids and pets, yung mga trabaho nila and upcoming sports matches and with worrying about what people may think of them. Bakit ka magwo-worry about what they think about you kung mayroon na silang ibang alalahanin? Kung ano ang sabihin ng iba sa iyo is not really it. It's not what you think it is. So that graphic may or may not be related to this particular tip. When someone criticizes you, then it's easy to start doubting yourself. Ito yung madalas kong problema eh. A criticism with what I'm doing could quickly escalate my self-doubt. I've been trying to uh, lessen that. So when someone rejects you and you don't get a second date after the first one that you think went pretty well. It's Finn Evian's 17th birthday. So get ready for new episodes and one legendary celebration. Starring Finn Evian, who's the man, and some very special guests, oh, and Ice King. Oh, nah, -uh. it's my birthday! Taran na bumangon at lumaban sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Bayanihan ang kailangan natin ngayon. One Hinebra, One Hinebra Nation. Don't be surprised kung nagkakaroon ka na ng self-doubt. Kaya lang, kung hindi naman ito about you, maybe your co-worker or relative or anyone na may concern sa'yo, may be dealing with something really deep or personal. Pwede rin may silang bad day, they're too stressed out. You might have gotten that second date, for example, because hindi natuloy when the person's mother got sick and doon siya nagpo-focus or maybe may reconnection siya ng ex niya and pwede may chance na magkabalikan. Why would we know everything about that other person's been going through? Hindi naman umiikot ang mundo sa inyo. Be careful that you do not misinterpret and build blame and doubt within nang walang clear na dahilan. Kahit sabihin niya may ganito about you, it's not exactly what it meant. Okay? This is my favorite tip. 
Ito yung madalas kong gawin. Get a boost of optimism. Let someone else's enthusiasm, motivation, and constructive optimism flow over to you. There are a lot of audio books or podcasts or books that gives you that. But di ka maghalap sa internet. Sometimes even lang live poems give you optimism. Ako not naman always, but sometimes I read that within 20 minutes. Itong quick 20 minute session that can greatly help us to shift our self doubts into optimism and may kakaroon tayo ng constructive thinking about that challenge. See setbacks as temporary. This is what I don't always realize. When you have a setback, then you may start to see things through a negative and dark lens. This current setback could be something that will simply be your new normal. Kaya tayo natatrap sa pag-isip na why would we continue to take action kung may setback tayo? Remember that you're not a failure just because you failed. This is what I didn't even realize either. Setbacks happens to everyone who take chances. It's simply a part of living life fully. May mga ilang pagkataon na things don't go well. Well, sometimes maayos ang outcome nito. Wag nyong gawig big deal ang pagkabigo sa workman or sa personal na buhay. Don't add any failure into your identity. Okay? So what are the things that we can learn from this setback? You may use the mistake or failure to your advantage para makapag move forward once more in a smarter way. To overcome your self-doubts, you may also sharpen your skills or refresh them. If you frequently get self-doubt before a presentation in school or at work, lalong lalo na ako, even when I do, when I perform a musical number, may self-doubt ako. It's what I don't usually experience kapag sumasayaw naman ako in front of an audience. Ganon din if I present something pag yung mga speech class, may self-doubt talaga ako. What can we do? Read a few books about it and practice at home in front of the mirror or in front of a friend. Meron ding online classes like Toastmasters, Allison.com, W3 Schools, name every website you could think of even duolingo you can also listen to miss laika maravilla's classes by watching her youtube team laika you know aking you know aking go to when i think i was going to take civil service that's when i first got introduced to team laika with the help of miss laika maravilla's lectures i was able to pass the civil service back in 2016. congrats to myself that's when we make ourselves feel more confident competent and relaxed sa mga ganitong sitwasyon don't beat yourself out about it wag magalit sa sarili okay a common way to handle self-doubt is to get angry at yourself and your lack of motion. Don't blame your don't blame yourself, okay? We can't blame ourselves all the time. We try to beat ourselves up as a way to get yourself to move forward. Hindi naman ito lagi nakakatulong. Why don't you just be kind and constructive when feeling self-doubt? Hindi lang pwedeng mag, magbigay ka ng kind and understanding words to yourself. 
you should also ask yourself this. What's one very small step I can take to move forward in this situation? So once you figure out that, take that very small step and start to step by step move towards where you want to go. Magsimula ka sa ganyang maliit na hakbang at unti-unti kang mag-move forward kung anong landa sa career or anything ang gusto mong tahakin. And after you take that one step forward, celebrate and win gaya ng pag-set ng sarili mong website or nakatapos ka ng marathon or five-minute run in months or years and you're done with it, even though you didn't win first place or it's a friendly match or competition, meron ka ng panalo. Even the smallest wins is still a win. So let's celebrate! You can treat yourself with a tasty snack or your paborito mong ulam pang hapunan, your favorite dinner. Spend some time on your favorite hobby like guitar, football, tennis, mag Netflix ka, or buy something you've wanted for some time now, like your favorite perfume or your favorite watch. This will renew and recharge your motivation and make taking action feel more exciting and fun. Ito ay makakapagpasanta base sa ating self-doubts. It will push them aside para you can keep moving and get more small and then bigger, bigger wins. We can do this. And lastly, you can course correct along the way. Trying to plan every move na ating gagawin on a journey towards a goal or dream can become draining and mauwi ito sa konting, konting self-doubt. It usually doesn't work that well anyway dahil ang best laid plans often start to fall apart or a bit or a need of some change kung confronted na ito with reality. Kaya nung you have a plans to travel na nabago dahil sa pandemic, that's, that may or may not be an example or siguro yung other things na naplana mo na within the year and then nagkaroon ng pagbabago just because of the circumstances and then you doubt yourself. You may just correct it. Let's do a bit of rough planning and then start your journey. We can always course correct along the way towards what we exactly want. As long as we are empowered by the new knowledge, experience, and feedback. Magkukuha natin ito as we keep going on that path. Ayan. <laughs> I thought naglaloko na naman ng laptop ko. It's just that I also have doubts kung kaya ko tong ma-present na maayos. To be honest, though I could say na meron din ako improvements with myself and how I present myself and how I do these presentations. I have myself doubts too, even in school. Pero I was able to overcome them. Like, I give yung mga constructive optimism, mga ganyan. Like, yung favorite ko dito is celebrate that small step and win. Baga, I ask myself first kung anong pwede kong gawin in order to get that level of success then. I take that small step, like the piano lessons ako when I was in grade school. I celebrated the time na nag... Uh, Recital ako. I have to make loud steps because I was having stage fright at that young age. I was only nine. Hindi pa ako nag-ten yo, ten years old noon. And I celebrated my tenth birthday a few days after that, <clears throat> and I successfully played three pieces on the piano. Though, so, stong magbalik loob dun. Uh, as soon as possible. Mag-ipon lang kami to get a keyboard. Same thing when I started exercising. Na unti unti ko yun. Though I did lose a few pounds and I have yet to lose again what I regained. Nagpabalik-lob lang ko sa exercise. I just found na 
I doubt ako sa sarili ko kung kaya ko itong ituloy within another year or two. Because yung weight gain ko is weight weight too much. So, hindi pa ako overweight. I just want to lose more weight para mas maging fit ako. Yun naman ang aking main priority. <laughs> so, <laughs> safe for serving my voice aside. This has been my October 5 presentation of Open Arms. Kung meron kayong experience on how you are able to overcome your self-doubt, not necessarily to the tips that I shared, but then you can you may have overcome it in your own way. You can share it in the comment section. Pwede kayo mag-comment sa Facebook Live or your YouTube. You may share your comments there. Gusto ko rin mag-shout out to a schoolmate na I have not talked to him for quite some time. Mr. Ryan Salvador. Hello there. I don't know where you are, but I think di ko lang kung sa Philippines ba siya. Currently or na sa America na. I wish you the best in this new chapter of your career. Hopefully, we can collaborate soon. God bless you too, Paolo. And take care always. Thank you, Dana. Na kapag reconnect tayo kanina lang. And to my fellow H&I members, and on the odd, good evening then. So once again, this has been Billy. For another Open Arms episode, we have just discussed ways on overcoming self-doubt. I hope na meron din kayo natutunan sa, sa ating presentation. And with prayers and perseverance, we know naman that nothing is impossible. So, as we prioritize and staying healthy in this pandemic, if we don't want, if we don't need to go out, it's best to still stay at home. Kasi magastos na magkasakit eh. And still, remember that we that we are. One inclusion forever. We put God first, always, and have a great night, everyone, or have a great day, everyone. Kung nasan man kayo na nanood in the world, take care always and God bless. Bye.